The University of Greenwich got interested in learning analytics because we're interested in, in, in monitoring things as much as anything. We specifically wanted to look at something that could give us help to work out which students may need additional advice and guidance earlier on in their studies because there's no point in finding these things out at the end and learning analytics is one tool that might just give us that edge. The primary institutional objective around learning analytics is to improve retention and success. It's not just retention, it's not just success and as a byproduct of that to have more engaged students who are having a better student experience. I think that's, it's got to be the underpinning driver. If you do it for other reasons then you probably won't get the best benefit for the students out of it. I think it's still early days for the University of Greenwich in relation to learning analytics. We are beginning to understand where our data is good enough to do this, um, where we probably have to improve our processes to be able to get that high quality data that will drive interventions. So th those are the kind of things that from my perspective are working. Another area where I, I'm definitely seeing a change is the level of discussion around learning analytics within the university. We've got groups of academics that perhaps have seen it in silos within their own areas, they've talked about it. Now they're coming together and are beginning to develop quite an interesting voice which is, is less passive than it might have been. It's more interested in what could come out of this and it's more determined to shape the outcome to benefit the students. From my perspective, the biggest challenges in implementation have been, well, there, there are always a range of challenges. Getting over the technical elements has been problematic, but it's, it's, it's a known element of the work. We've been working with data for a very long time. We've been working with HESA data for a very long time, and that's a, a significant chunk of what's going on. We, we're a Moodle institution. Um, and just was very helpful in enabling us to get access to our VLE data. So again, it's been a challenge, but something that we're getting towards the end of, which is, is great. Deciding how to represent the outcomes, I think, is going to be the next big challenge. For some institutions, they're going to have a clean page because they've not got anything in this space. But if, like us, you've already got a tutor dashboard and you're already monitoring at a perhaps a not particularly well developed way but you are still monitoring attendance and promulgating that to your academic staff. There are decisions to be made about what you take from the, the GISC components, which GISC components you choose, and which you decide to do in-house, how you decide to actually take it to the next stage. And how do you then roll it out to the academic staff so that they don't get confused by what's being expected of them? Because they're very much having to work in this space about being more engaged tutors, being more aware of student welfare. Gone are the days when an academic was just expected to teach. There's, it's a much more rounded experience now, and that's the challenge. I think it would be really good in the future if learning analytics as it's, it's only one tool, but it's, I think it could be a very important tool in enabling us to, to, to help our students um, get over whatever background they're bringing in with them. And it's, it's get, getting them to a level playing field. They might at school have decided to do uh, vocational qualifications or they might have chosen to do academic qualifications. That might have given them different backgrounds to others sometimes one might be more suited to the career they want to follow than the other. Just enabling us to know about that and to use learning analytics to help them to find the best study path for them that it needs, enables them to achieve their full potential. That's where I think we're going to go. I think it's only one of many tools. I think give it five years and we'll be 
taking all that we're getting from learning analytics and tying it into a much clearer understanding of how to teach students. I mean, I, again, I think lots of people think they know how to teach students. We've been doing it for a very long time. But the modern techniques that suit students now, I think, are they're changing techniques. They're more uh, student-driven, student-controlled techniques. And I think we'll be able to judge that using learning analytics as well.